today I'm painting a little something different. It's a WizKids Deep Cuts Pathfinder Battles Bone Golem. Hey everybody, welcome back to Easterlings Gaming Channel. And this guy was very long to do, so I actually cut a lot of this video. It's in fast forward as you can see. I think it clo took me close to an hour and a half to paint this guy all alone because it's very detail oriented where you got to get the skin compared to the bones. And I've seen, I saw many variations online of how to paint this guy. And I just went with, you know what, let's do the artwork. But I changed it a little bit. So I start off with some crusted sore, which is from the Army Painters War Paints. And I'm going to do this for all the muscle tissue. Now later on, I'm going to do some dry brushing. I'm going to do some quick shades, more dry brushing. And as you can see also, I actually filled in the rest of the base. So the ma main base was where you can see the gray spots. So that looks like stone. And then there was a black base that came with it you could glue on. And what I did is I took some of the, um, I think it was the sand from uh, the uh, Army Painters uh, core set, Dungeons and uh, Caverns core set from the Game Master set. And I put that on there and I also used some Battlefield rocks just to fill in on the edges. And I let that dry for a while so it really hardens and gets stuck to it so later on when I paint over it doesn't all come off. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoy these videos. I love making them. And do let me know in the comments below if you actually like me commenting on the videos like as they're going along uh, to tell you what techniques I did or whatever like that. Or would you rather just see a quick little brush through and then see the, fi the final product? Uh, let me know, okay, in the comments. Thanks. We're still going with that crusted sore on this guy. Uh, so this is actually a large miniature, not a huge miniature, but a large one, or maybe even a medium. And this is not like, it, you can use it in D&D, but it's mostly for Pathfinder, uh, the Bone Golem. And I think most of the Golems are in the Pathfinder Deep Cuts, for some reason. Anyways, there are some, I think, in D&D, but you can use them in here. And uh, so you can see, like, it's, it's very monotonous to try and get inside all the little nooks and crannies that this guy to get his muscle tone down correctly and that crusted sore it looked like it was a little bit more watered down than it was than I thought it even has a mixing ball in it but you know what the white underneath comes out through a bit so it doesn't just get rid of all the details I actually kind of liked it that way So we're nearing the end of the Crusted Soar phase and I just want to remind people that I do stream on Friday nights at 9 p.m. Eastern Time at Twitch TV and you can look for Easterling79. I play with my friends and uh, we game all sorts of stuff. But you can come and chat with me and we can talk about board games, video games, miniatures or whatever else you feel like talking about. All right, so the first layer of dry brushing is gonna be Succubus Red. So this is a brighter red, so I wanted to go on top of that um, crusted sore. And I used the small Masterclass dry brush, and I don't know if it's my brush that's not working properly, but it didn't seem like the red was coming out very well. Anyways, I'm maybe have to clean it properly, a little bit better. Uh, but yeah, it, it still gets in like the, the highlights of it. So you can actually see that some of the lighter areas are starting to get a little bit darker, uh, which is kind of the opposite of what I wanted to do. So that's why I'm going to move on to another color coming up. And this is also another one from the D&D's Marvelous Pigments paint sets and it's Sturge Tan. This is a unique color along with the Succubus Red. Uh, you can only get them in those paint sets or individually bought. Uh, I don't know if you can buy them in stores. Anyway, so I'm doing another dry brush and this is with the uh, medium or large dry brush actually from the Army Painter. And this is going to go over all those veins or muscles or whatever and you can see the Sturge Tan is coming through really nicely. 
Now I'm going to use a red quick shade wash from the Army Painter. And I'm going to go over again the muscles. And this is just to darken the recesses, bring out the highlights, and as you can see, the lighter Sturge tan still comes out. But later on, I'm going to put another wash on top of it just to really give it a grimier look. Now to move on to another large part of this miniature, which is all the skelly bones. So we're going to use skeleton bone from the Army Painter. I've liked this color from the beginning. I use it on all skeleton stuff usually, and then usually use a, uh, a low light tone or a flesh wash on it to really finish those uh, skeletons off. Again, this is very long, so I do cut through the painting once in a while. Uh, you just get a glimpse of what it is. So you can see I did dry brush on top of some of the bones, but just paint. That's what's fun about these paints. You can just paint right over them after. So it's not like a mistake I made. It's just, okay, well, I hit it with the brush and it's going to get paint over. So you can see right there, that's what happens. Uh, so again, I want to thank you guys for uh, joining me on this channel again, and I hope you uh, like what you get. And don't forget to comment down below if you like it more when I comment on my paintings, or if you'd rather just see a quick paint through and then uh, see the finished product at the end. I don't matter to me whichever one you like. I will uh, oblige to whichever people seem to like the most. Uh, so we're continuing again with the skeleton bone here, and we're getting all these skulls and the claws on this guy. And like I said before, I've seen some really nice, interesting ways of painting this guy. I just, I don't have that master re <laughs> of painting yet miniatures, but I could have tried it. I was going to try it, uh, but I mean, I've seen people with like dark purple uh, muscles and then like rotting bones or even like green, f like necrotic bones or... Uh, and then there's like blood splatter, but actually I do a little bit of that at the end. You'll see that as well. So we are finally nearing the end of all the skeleton mode. We're going to be moving on to another Nolzer's Marvelous Pigments paint. And this is going to be a dry brushing of bleached skull. So it's very white, but not too white. And it's going to go over all the skully parts and the skeleton parts and all the skeleton bone paint. Uh, just to give it more uh, in-depth uh, for when the wash comes on later that you don't get it all the same color. And that's what's fun about dry brushing on some things or even just highlighting. Some people highlight. I don't have the patience to highlight. I just like doing the dry brushing. You go around and you smack everything and then you put your shader on and it gets all the nice colors separately. And I come back here with the Sturge 10 and I go back over the muscle parts because I just found it was again too dark. Uh, but I really want to bring out those muscle tones so this is why I come back with the Sturge 10 and go over it just one more time. And then we're going to use some Cavern Highlights, which is a paint from the Game Master's Dungeons and Core set from the Army Painter. I'm not sure if this is a unique color or not, uh, but this is where I'm going to start painting the entire base with this.
All right, now we're gonna use some cavern effects paint, which is also another paint from the Game Master set. And I think this too is in a unique color, but I'm not 100% sure. And this is gonna be dry brushed over all the base, uh, just to give it that rock-like effect, dirt sand. Uh, sorry, I go off camera a bit there. <laughs> Now we're going to be starting to finish off this miniature finally. Like I said, it only took me close to an hour and a half to finish this guy. Uh, so we're going to be using some flesh wash and it's going to go over, I'm going to try and stay on the bones, but I eventually I'm like, you know what? It looks good on the muscles. It gives it that fleshy look. It makes it a little bit more gruesome looking. Now the next uh, quick shade wash is going to be dark tone from the army painter and this is going to be for the entire base. Uh, and you can see it's going to get really nicely into all the like nooks and crannies of the rocks, especially the, uh, the, the rocks I added on, so it really finishes that texture off. Now we're going to finish off with some splattering of glistening blood, which is an effects paint from the army painter. Uh, it's very messy doing this so I ended up putting a glove on and I was like okay so which brush does it better and I kept trying to figure out which brush would do a better job and eventually it just doesn't splatter anymore but you know what I got the effect I wanted I wanted some little bit of blood all over this guy as if like the muscles were still like been tear, tear, torn off teared off torn off from the guy so this is the bone golem ready to fight whatever it's gonna fight it looks pretty nasty but it looks pretty awesome at the same time have a wonderful day guys and get your miniatures to the table.